All right, guys, Supreme Kami here, and today we are going to be doing the All Children review for the Banshee Norn. So, uh, by the time you guys are watching this, the banner, I believe, only have one or two more days left before it's gone. So, you guys do have to make a quick decision whether or not you feel like the Banshee Norn is going to be something that's beneficial to you. Um, I do have the original full set already, so that's why I'm just going to quickly show you guys how it looks like if you guys do have the full set. Um, as far as what you can actually do with it afterward, you can actually go ahead and transform it into the this or the new type destroyer mode as well. So it should look something like this. So this one it actually comes with the actual green frame, green cycle frame. So it looks really nice. So not bad, I guess. Right. So that's that. Um. So let's do take a look at the alteration. Um. I think in terms of my opinion of the overall unit, I think it's actually one of the more traditional way they're handling it um they give you a pretty average offensive stats but they actually give you a very very good uh defensive stats. so you guys can see that these are like kind of like the stat distribution so for any of the part for the bash unit for this version specifically they're not really going for like the max armor that you see in like since i don't know how many like these right here they went for max armor i think even this one they went for like really high armor right let's see yeah they went for like max armor uh skip that one this one they went ultra max armor like look look at this so yeah so as far as this bench you know they went for the really traditional way give you some really i guess standardized armor stats but they give you some really good offensive stats so this unit actually makes a very good i guess another addition to like oh a dual type build so that could be good i i, I think people definitely love the idea of like running dual type build where your status are pretty much ne nearly the same which is actually in this one yes uh i think melee and then both shot they're both within like i want to say top five ish area so it's actually really good and unfortunately i don't really have i don't really have the time to kind of like oh put in another excel for this unit based build because uh, we are probably going to be talking about like for, for like an hour straight so we don't want that um so strictly we're just going to talk about melee because like even the word tag are kind of going for that build so that's why it's easier in a way so these are the set so 5k for the melee attack and 10,000 for both defense <laughs> talk about crazy huh so as far as that part it is going to land right into the top three so pretty good but unfortunately this one does come with ex skill so especially an awakening so i don't really like these and if you guys are using head part do make sure you have another part that has a good part tray because what i do see people do they tend to put two parts like especially main part or sub slot both of them are ex skill so you guys can definitely let me know what's wrong with that but um this one is not really that bad this one does give you that uh non-flinching for a set period of time so that's actually really good they also did add in like a erase debuff effects on your gun plus so this is actually to counter the unicorn crystallized version or the luminous crystal body version so that's that's kind of quite funny that they made this one to counter that but okay that's that's pretty cool tag wise some high fire pattern the close combat so still a very good tag combo so pretty good um if you guys are asking should i alter it ahead um i think i'll actually save the albert just was probably something else in a way maybe something I don't know because this one does go really good for like a dual type build so i really don't know it i guess it all depends on what you need in a way style watch is definitely top top notch in my opinion for melee build for stream based build so if you guys do have anything better then don't alter it but if you guys do need something definitely go ahead and alter the head part because this one is going to slide right into any build no problem so uh moving over to the torso oh i actually did have the head so these are the part i got i got the head part i got the legs and i got the uh arranged weapon which we'll talk about which is actually pretty good um moving over to the torso this is uh, pretty much what we are presented with so pretty high stat obviously melee is uh, seemingly higher i think throughout every part we do see a higher melee attack than the base shot attack so that is definitely something just to worth noting there so same word tag not really same word tag but uh, you have high fire power now and then get them type so this one is actually not a bad ex skill um the twin b magnum so we actually have seen this one already this one was actually featured in i believe it was the like just the base form unicorn so we were we already do have this as an ex skill but what this one when you guys use this ex skill 
you are summoning the unicorn, like the OG unicorn, not the Banshee, because the one we have for this one, um, let me show you guys real quick, so you guys know what I'm talking about. So the one we have is actually this. So we have the big skin unicorn. Is this one seven? No, this one's not a seven star. So we have this one already. So this one is pretty much the same thing, but this one you are summoning the Banshee for this one while the newest one is summoning the OG Unicorn. So there you go. Uh, I don't really see like anything noticeable difference. Anyway, uh, obviously with the two changes of the those Unicorn. Um, other than that, I don't really see like a big impact of like, oh, which ones you really use. This one does not boost melee attack, unfortunately, while this one does. And it does give you a little bit more stats or I guess effects. So yeah, so it really does. This depends what you get, um, but if you guys don't really care too much about the effects, you guys care about like the cinematics, um, then you must have too, because there's you can't really run this on a Banshee, or I guess you can't run this on a Unicorn, like the OG Unicorn, because you're summoning yourself once again, so it's not, it's not gonna look right, so that's that. Um, what about these stats? Did we talk about that? Um, style as for melee is gonna be top two at the moment, so pretty good. In a sense, you do have Gendo type and then high fire power, so you do have, you know, seemingly you, you, you are looking at some other attacks that are boosting, you know, shot base boot now, so that is a pretty much something to talk about. Um, as far as like, do you want to alter this one or is it really needed? Um, I think it's the same thing again because this one is a big scale. Um, so if you guys do know the trend that they've been having lately, pretty much everything is big scale. So what you really does do need at this point in time is like the one to one for this for skill. Because uh, you can't really subslot big skill to a big scale, you're not getting any the scale differences. So, uh, if why would you guys like me personally? I wouldn't alter it because it's a pretty good, pretty cinematic EX skill. And if you don't have a lot of big skill parts you kind of work with, altering it is just gonna make your kit bashing or whatever you gotta do weird. So that's just kind of two cents of my pen. Um, I wouldn't alter it yet. But if you guys do need something of like better stats for both build, go ahead and alter it because it's pretty good. Um, but if you guys do have something better ready, then like I said again, don't alter it yet. And please make sure when you guys are using this one, do a pair up with a respectable good portrait so you guys are not losing on anything. So that's that. Um, I think arm part is a pretty much self-explanatory. I'm just gonna go quickly in this one. Good portrait. Um, they introduced double. Uh, what is it? EXQ damage. So this is good. Um, so this one does not care about using any build. So shooting base build, melee build, easy because they're both targeting EXQ. So that's good. Uh, the only downside is uh, as far as your job gauge, you are gonna be down by thirty percent in total. So I mean, like that's not really too important in in my personal opinion. So that's that. Uh, great tag as well. You do have uh, close combat and then high fire power. So this arm is actually, if you guys who have this one, um, I would highly suggest you guys to replace it because uh, we are, you know, starting to move away from the trend of just having the regular power boosting. So you do need a good mixture of both damage trait and regular power boosting to have like a good equilibrium. So you guys are doing maximum damage all the time. So if you guys do have the arm, this one I, I think is actually quite good to alterate. Good for shooter base build, good for just any build in general. So just pretty good. So yeah, not bad. Um, the only thing you won't really see is like high armor and no resistance. So that is going to be a problem throughout. Uh, moving on to the legs. So the legs, um, I wouldn't say they're bad. Um, I, I just wish it could be better. Am I, I guess I'm being too, asking too, for too much. Um, starter for the set is actually quite good as well. Um, top five once again for now. Uh, as far as the tags, uh, you are going back to Gundam type and then high fire power, so not the worst uh, because you do want to give, you know, range, range build, you know, a little bit of a love as well for that Gundam type. Um, as far as the tags, uh, is it good? I mean, like, I guess it's actually not as good as people might think this thing could be because, uh, first of all, you do have to be above 30 or 80% in terms of HP. So falling below that is actually easier than you can think of in a way. You can definitely heal it back up and just kind of, you know, forget about you ever losing HP, but you can just never really assume what kind of HP threshold you're at. So if you do run this one, you do have a high chance of just falling below that percentage and you lose everything. So that could be very bothersome in a way. 
Uh, but this one is actually not that bad. You are, you, you have this one, 25% EXQ cooldown reduced. That is, I think that is probably one of the highest one we have seen today. I think even the first one to have 25%. So this one is good. Uh, first and foremost, uh, when we see a higher percentage like this, what I like to is actually a very good thing because uh, normally speaking, 20% is like probably like the best part, like the best level to be at as far as the percentage because you're gonna need at least another five parts or another four parts to complete the 100% trio or the 100% quadruple portrait, whatever. So starting at 15% base level one is actually quite beneficial just for anyone. Um, you probably just have to work on this one, maybe at least a few levels up as far as the portrait and you're done. Uh, you can just kind of take it out of the baking machine, <laughs> baking machine, or you can stop cooking, I should say. Uh, and then you should be locking in at a good 20%. You're good to go. Uh, because you still have your other parts that give you those uh, EXK cooldowns. So you can just kind of combine with those. And you're not, you just, you're just going to spend a little bit of an investment. You have a really good early part already. So um, as far as the first part trade, I would like that to be at least 40%. Um, I think only setting in at 30% is actually quite low. Anyway, just, I, I, I guess, just kind of looking at what we've been having. So I think even 35% would be better, but 20 or 30% is just too low. So I, I don't know. Um, if you guys think this one is good just because of this factor right there, I think that is actually quite good. Good justification because I would think that as well because this one is definitely really important than this one. So um, if you guys do put a late part, I do think it's actually not a bad investment because of the investment time. It's actually less than what you would normally be used to anyways. And since right now we still have the Grove Hanger in action, so it's actually not bad. I think I think we should still have at least maybe a week and a half of you know effectiveness of that six time rate. So it's actually not bad to go ahead and cook this in. So uh, arm part and then leg part are definitely quite good. But I'll I'll put the arm part still above the leg part. Uh, leg part is definitely going to be on that secondary tier. Uh, moving over to the back part, let's see what's what's going on here. Uh, back part is going to be another EX skill, so as far as always reading it, definitely going to leave that into your own hands, so now you want that EX skill to be on big scale, um, and etc. So first things first, looking at the status, the premium is going to be the same thing, um, just some pretty me mediocre armor, um, some pretty, I guess, standard offensive stat, and defensive was again pretty good. Uh, attack wise, now we are introduced for space, so okay. Uh, like I said again, I think for space is definitely something that they have been, you know, slowly introducing more and more. So I will not say it's, it's not bad to be using it, but at the same time, you're just getting a lower percentage because you only get the max so I believe, 8% when you are using on a specific map, which I think is a, it's actually a very, very low chance you're actually running into that. So that's why, although it's good, we have support, but at the same time, you're just not getting the maximum boosting. So it, it does hurt you. Um, overall offensive side just a little bit in a way but i'm um, going back to ex skill we are we, we have the um armor the armor uh xc this so this one is a pumping out a d pierce and trip or uh double s minus so actually pretty good um they they cannot go back to like s power only because that that is what the original one has um this one they are packing in with a lot of effects like that so first of all you are getting a squad recovery so that's pretty good you're also getting a melee attack up by 49%. So that's pretty good as well. And then last two ones, they're actually going to be granting another additional cooldown instantly down by 28%. And then another 23% respectively for both your melee and shots. So this one is really good. Um, so this one has the same property as the aerial shield EXQ. So let's say you combine those two together, right? You are going to get a massive reduction on the spot. So that's actually quite good, but on the offside, both of them are going to be awakenable EX skill. So on the other side, you are going to be losing on some buffs. So if you guys do not care about losing on the buffs, I guess it's pretty much fine because at least you are gaining reduction like instantly. So that's pretty good. You can definitely play around with like your actual portrait EX skill cooldown reduction. So you can just kind of play around with it and still get maximum, you know, coverage in a way. So pretty good. Uh, like I said again, alteration definitely gonna leave it in your own hands um, because, like I said again, you do need a good part trade when you are pairing up with a EX skill based part. So that's that. Uh, as far as like the stat right now, we are looking at top five, so pretty good. Uh, but we definitely do have some better things, like some things that are better, right? So 
that's that um all right so moving over to the ranged weapon all right so ranged weapon i think people might think this is a very robust part and i do agree so we are offered it a double ex or above ex get fixed up by 35 percent that's pretty good um the only upside as for the condition you do trade in uh, you are going to take 10 more percent shot attack and then you're also going to be taking 10 more percent melee attack so that's going to be the only caveat but other than that this is a very very good portrait uh, i think it's actually pre pretty beneficial so in total you are getting 40 percent at base level one maxing out at 70 percent. so that is good uh for anyone that needs a immediately power up as for your overall damage you activate some buffs you let that roll in these gonna kick in really fast so you are gonna be getting a lot of damage at the end of the day so that's that's good um so if you guys do have the be magnum and you feel like you do need this one definitely go ahead i i will not i will not disagree with you this is actually one of the better part i, I guess these two like the arm parts and the being that being magnum definitely one of the two best part that i feel like you should ostray on the spot so i don't think there's anything much to talk about um pretty good stuff overall um i guess the base melee could be a little bit higher but it is whatever we are going to be placed pretty high as for right now so tag wise uh what is it for space on skin and high fire power so that is uh, right uh not too bad i guess uh do we have anything that kind of pairs it up with uh for space not really unless you consider the uh the other beam magnum the phoenix type rc you do have for space right there so that is definitely something you can kind of work alongside or if not you can definitely use something like this um so you definitely do have a lot of options for sure and last but not least uh, we have the armed armor de so these are going to be some of the overall stats so not going to be as high as for as the shoe stat unfortunately but uh you are having a pretty good like these right here for a shoe part is actually quite busted because like normally speaking it's pretty hard to get a shoe parts that offer double like both uh defensive to be that high so this one is good for defensive purposes so not bad uh, EX skill wise, we do have the Mega Cannon, so nothing too crazy. This one does offer up to 15 magazines, so I think base we are starting at 1240. So that's hot, that's pretty hot. Do I have this one? No, I don't. So I do assume maybe base, like an alternate, may have a little bit less magazine, but um, overall speaking, I think this one is just pretty good uh, for the stat purposes, actually, pretty good. Uh, as for attrition, um, I think that is definitely up to your own hands once again. Um, I don't really think it's a immediate need unless you guys do really need it because like I said once again this one does not have a good part trace so you do need something better to kind of work with it but um great war tag is high fire power and then close combat so all right um so that's it gonna be pretty much it as for the archer review for the bench ignoring so overall I think this is actually quite good for a dual type build so if you guys feel like you need something at least do go for it or at least go for the L badges because like you guys do know L badges or something that is uh, that comes in really really rare so having a few L badges kind of stop stop how it's actually not going to be that bad uh right now you want to be getting these part like in the near future 36 hours on banner that's definitely up to you guys but um overall definitely a really really good solid option for a new type build but other than that that's going to be pretty much it for me and then i'll be catching you guys on on the next one